Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Alex here. And today I want to go over some amazing routines that we can add to our Galaxy phones. This is probably one of my favorite features on the Galaxy phones. I absolutely love creating routines. And if you haven't tried this, I highly suggest you give it a shot. And this is the perfect video to do it because I'm going to go over and create some awesome routines that we can all use. So let's just get right into it by creating our first routine. Now to access routines, what you want to do is go into your phone's settings and then scroll to modes and routines and then go to this routines tab down here and then tap on the plus icon to create a new routine and you'll see two sections here an if statement and a then section so everything you put in your if statement has to be true in order for your phone to execute anything that's in the then section so let's create our first routine around coming home so we're going to go to the if section tap this plus icon in the search bar we're going to type wi-fi and we're going to select Wi-Fi network. We're going to select connected. Then we're going to tap add. And then we're going to select our Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and do that. Tap done. And then we're going to go down to the then section. And then we're in the search bar. We're going to search for um, unlocked. So type that. And then you'll see it says keep your phone unlocked. And then it says keep your phone unlocked for four hours after the conditions are met while it's unlocked. And now just tap save. You can go up here and give your routine a name. So I'll just say... Uh, home. This is my home routine. So every time I arrive home, you can also change the colors and the icons, but I'm going to leave that as default. But once you hit done, it's going to ask you to verify your identity. So just put your pin or your fingerprint and you can see we've created our first routine. And this is already running because I'm at home and I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. So now if I show you how this works, if I lock my phone and then unlock it again, you can see that it's already unlocked. I don't need to scan my fingerprint. My phone is already unlocked. You can see it says phone is unlocked by smart lock. So definitely really convenient. So let's go back into here and then create our second routine. And this one is going to be when we leave home. So we're going to hit the plus icon again, go into here. And in the search bar, we're going to type Wi-Fi again. But this time we go to Wi-Fi network, we're going to say disconnected. So when we leave our home and we disconnect from our Wi-Fi, tap done. Then what we want to do is maybe we're going to our car and we're going to drive somewhere and we want to enable our Bluetooth to connect to our uh, car's stereo system. So we're going to tap done. Then we're going to go back into then add another action. We're going to go up into here and we're going to maybe set the media volume to 100%. So the volume on our phone is going to be at 100%. So that way we can just control it on our actual car's stereo system rather than using the buttons on our phone. You can also control these other ones. I'd probably set them around 50% and then just leave this one at 100 and tap done. And then another thing I like to add in the then section is to add Wi-Fi protect. So if we go back into the search, type Wi-Fi again, but this time you'll see turn on secure Wi-Fi. So if we tap on this, essentially what this is going to do is when we're out and about and maybe we go to coffee shops or Starbucks or whatever else, they have their own Wi-Fi. And sometimes these Wi-Fi networks are not secure. Wi-Fi secure will just help keep your phone protected in case you're connecting to any fishy Wi-Fi networks. So now just tap done. Again, you can give this a name. So we're going to say leaving home. You can give it whatever name you want tap done and then tap done again. So now we have our second routine for any time we leave our house. All right, now for our next routine, let's create a routine for when we arrive at work. So when we come to work, maybe we want to mute our phone so that no phone calls or notifications make any audible sounds, but our phone just stays on vibrate. So we're gonna create a new routine. We're gonna go to the if section and then right here, we're going to go to time period. Actually, no, we're going to go to specific time and then we're going to select every day between Monday to Friday. And if you start work at, let's say, 9 a.m., we're going to select 9 a.m. For the end time, we're going to set it to, let's say, you finish work at 5 p.m. and then tap done. And then for the then section, we're going to tap into here, go to search and look for sound mode and vibration. So right there, sound mode and volume, we're going to tap onto here and we're just going to set it to vibrate. So now every time it is Monday to Friday between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., when you're at work, your phone will be on vibrate. All your sounds will be muted. So you're not getting distractions if you're in meetings or just doing your job. Now just tap save, give this routine a name. We'll just call it work and hit done. Now, another routine that I like is to have a winding down routine. So about an hour before I go to bed, I'm usually on my phone. So during this time, what we can do is if we go to the if section, let's say time period, we'll select every day of the week between around 11 a.m. So I go to bed at 12 uh, a.m. So we'll select 11 p.m. to start. 
and then end time will do uh, 12 a.m. So midnight, tap done. And what I want to happen in this time is I want to bring my phone's brightness down. So we'll set this to around 10%. So the phone is not too bright and it's going to be nice and easy on my eyes. And then another action in here, what we'll do is add eye comfort shield. So this will just filter out some of that blue light to make it easier for you to fall asleep. So we'll tap on tap done and there you go you've got your winding down routine now additionally what you can do is go back into here and add another action if you go to search and then search for orientation so you can set your screen orientation to be in portrait so that when you're rolling around on your sides your phone doesn't just change the orientation and flip around on you but it will keep it locked in portrait so if you want you can add that in here as well then we're going to tap save we're going to give this a name we'll call it winding down we're going to hit done. We're going to hit done. And there we go. We got our winding down routine. All right. Now let's move on to the next routine. And this one is going to be for nighttime charging. So if you're charging your phone at night, so what we're going to do is go to time period. If it's any day of the week between whenever you go to sleep. So again, I fall asleep at around 12 a.m. midnight and then I wake up at 7 a.m. So actually like at 630 ish, I wake up. So we'll do 630. Uh, set this up here. 630 a.m tap done so between 12 a.m and 6 30 a.m while i'm asleep then what we want to happen is we'll go into the search bar and type charging we're gonna go to fast charging and we're going to disable fast charging now the reason we're doing this is because our phone has all night to charge so i don't need it fast charging and generating any extra heat that could potentially be bad for the battery so i'm just gonna turn off fast charging at night because i don't need it then we're gonna go down and add another action and we're going to search for power saving so we're gonna enable power saving at night because what if I forget to plug my phone in to charge? Well, I don't want my phone just draining a battery all night. I want to turn on power saving mode and conserve as much po uh, battery power as possible so that in the morning I'm not waking up to a potentially dead phone or one that's really low on battery. So we're going to enable power saving at night. Now, if you want, you can also add another action in here. So if we go tap into here, go to search, we can look for battery protect. And what this will do, if we enable battery protect, you can see it says, uh, extends the lifespan of your battery by limiting the maximum charge to 85%. So your phone will never charge past 85%. This is typically pretty good for lithium ion batteries because they don't like to be fully charged or fully discharged. So keeping your phone between 20 and 85% is really ideal for lithium ion batteries. But do keep in mind though that you're gonna be losing 15% battery charge right off the bat. But if your phone lasts you through the day on just 85%, you can definitely go ahead and enable this. But if you do enable this, I have a little hack that you can do. You can set your wake up period to 30 minutes before you actually wake up and this will disable this routine and your phone will actually charge to 100 percent so we're going to go ahead and save this routine and then i'm going to call it night charge and we're going to hit done and we're going to hit done all right now let's move on to our next routine so for this one if you like to watch a lot of media on your phone like youtube netflix crave disney plus whatever it may be you can create a routine that will auto rotate your screen into landscape mode so you can enjoy uh, the full display experience so we're going to tap on if and then in here we're going to search for app open so it's down here under event tap app opened now you can go ahead and select any applications where you like to watch media so we'll go ahead and select youtube i also have uh, Netflix in here so let's search for Netflix and then you can select whatever other ones that you have but once you have them selected tap done so now we have a if statement that says if YouTube or Netflix is opened then what we want to do is change the screen orientation to landscape then tap done and there you go now anytime we launch YouTube or Netflix it will flip our phone into landscape mode now we're going to go in here and add another action that I highly recommend you do because it's going to make the audio quality sound much better especially if you're using headphones or earphones and it's called Dolby Atmos so search for it tap on it make sure it's selected on and select auto and then tap done and then go ahead and save this routine and give it a name we'll just say media and then tap done and hit done all right, now let's create another routine for when our phone's battery runs low. We're going to have our phone automatically enable battery saving mode to preserve as much battery as possible. So we're going to go ahead and hit plus, go to the if statement and then search into here uh, battery. You'll see battery level and set this to whatever level you want. So for me, I like to keep it at 30%. So when my phone gets below 30%, then what I want is for my phone to turn on 
power saving mode. We're going to tap on that, tap on, hit done, and then hit save. And then we'll just call this low battery. Tap done and then save it. And there you go. Now, anytime our phone it drops below 30% battery, it will automatically enable power saving mode. I absolutely love this routine because I don't have to actively look at my battery. It will just automatically turn battery saving mode to preserve battery anytime my phone is running low. So definitely really useful. All right, guys, now let's create one more routine for when we're going to the gym. So we'll go to the plus icon here. We'll go to if. Now you can use the same Wi-Fi connect uh, option. So if you connect to your gym's uh, uh, Wi-Fi network, this might be a little bit more useful or accurate, but if you don't connect to your gym's uh, Wi-Fi network, you can also go down here and select place, select pick a place, and then in here, just search the actual address of your gym, and then in here, you can change the radius, so maybe set it a little bit lower so it's a little bit more accurate, then tap when I arrive, and then tap done. So when we arrive at this address, then what we want to happen is we'll search for Bluetooth. So we want to enable our Bluetooth. So we want to connect to a Bluetooth device and then select whichever earphones or headphones you're using. So I'll use my AirPods Pro, tap done, and then go to add action and then go to volume. So we don't want to blow out our eardrums. So we're gonna select media volume and we're gonna set this to 50% so that it's not too loud when we first uh, turn on our music and we don't get any surprises. We're gonna tap done. And then we're going to add another action and we're going to uh, enable do not disturb. So select do not disturb and select it to on. And this way, when we're working out, we're not going to get distracted by phone calls or any notifications, except for the ones that you set to allow to bypass your do not disturb. And then another action you can add in here is to go to here and then ty type alert. Uh, and what that's going to do is alert through headphones. So we're going to select on and then we're going to select ringtone and notifications and then we're going to tap done. So essentially what this will do is anytime somebody calls us or texts us who we allow to bypass our do not disturb, it will actually alert us through the headphones rather than ring on the actual phone because we probably won't hear it because we're going to be wearing earphones. So there you go. Just tap save, give it a name. We'll just type Jim and then hit done and done. But there you go, guys. That is going to do it for this video. These are some awesome routines that all of us can use in our daily lives just to make our lives a little bit better. It's absolutely amazing that we can automate all of these things on our Galaxy phones. I think this is such an underrated feature that a lot more people need to start using. And if you do use it, let me know what kind of routines you guys are using on your phone. I would definitely love to see what kind of other things I can add onto my phone. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.